So, just pulled up to Canuga and I saw my man Tyler that I actually uh, met at the Riveter a little while ago when we were there for a jam session. But the big news is there's actually a new jump line. Have they named this jump line over here? Parking lot jump line. But lot jump he's line. done it before. Let me get you in here. This is, this is hot. Look, is it working? Is it working? I think so, man. Is it working? Is it working? Is the thing on? Is it good? Yeah, I, think. I think it is. All right. So, but I haven't done a jump line. He said he's doing it all day long. And I was like, hey, like I wasn't going to do it. And he was like, hey, I can let's do it. Go, so, so let's go. So let me walk you through the jump line real quick. Okay, so here is the gap. So that's a shipping container gap. This has got a very uh, Riveter-esque feeling to it, um, for sure. There's a, there's a big deck. The whole thing's a big deck, but that's not the super hard board. We'll get the GoPro footage of that, so I'll we'll have to walk up there. And then we walk here. So that's probably six, eight, eight feet out, four feet down. And that's gonna stroll you right over here to a tabletop. It's pretty wedgy, so pretty easy to jump. And then this is gonna be like a step up hip, uh, almost sharp enough to be kind of like a spine almost, depending on how you hit it, but it actually turns to the right a little bit. And then you've got this hip jump. And I like how it's right next to the parking lot. So the, the, the crazy line you can see from the parking lot and the shorts turn around. Um, so here's a hip. Uh, that one, like I said, spine. Depending on where you hit it, the landing though. But this is probably on the inside, five, on the outside, 12. And shoots down into like a trail gap. Um, maybe you can drive a car through there, so you can call it a road gap. So it's like a step down, a little bit of an uplift, and then a huge berm. Then there's a big giant metal ramp. I think Tyler's hype, he said he's hit this trail like an abundant amount of times on his DJ and his e-bike. I feel like he is a safe choice to have somebody tow me in. I have a feeling he's gonna be coming down. Oh, yep, look at that. Road gap. So, uh, what are the trail conditions right now? Dusty. Dusty, hey, okay. As long as you're out front, you ain't gotta worry about the dust, right? That's it. Um, you look like you went really deep. I did. Went really deep on that yeah, landing. It's going, it's moving pretty quick today. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, fast. I feel like I like your style and your speed and your smash and like, uh, I've got faith that, uh, I can do this. Let's get it, man. So, uh, let's get the gear on. <laughs> I guess we're going to get it. We'll give it a shot. If I can get it or not, go. we're going to try it. There's somebody here to tow me in. He obviously knows what's going on. So we'll see. It's not fully vertical lip over there. I think the spine's probably steeper than. I think the landing's steeper than the jump. And then I feel like the hip, the little skinny jump, like the spine almost. Yeah. I feel like that's steeper than that. What would you say in the feeling uh, pre hand About the same, or just you're just about going? The same. I am just going. Now that I'm thinking about it, though, it is almost steeper. Oh man. Okay. So really, just a big chunk up there. Uh, Obviously, when you do things for the first time, you want to put on the full face. So, all right, let's uh, let's get geared up. Where am I at in the back? Just kind of looking at what gear I'm in. So, I have a good idea. Towards the bottom, one from the bottom. It is what it is. Let's get it. Okay, so here's the, there's the get down. There is the get down. It's pretty big, pretty big. I mean, it's definitely pretty big. All right, then all the rest are just fine.
So what we learn on our first run up is that I need to start in a slightly easier gear and that should be good to go. The, uh, the second jump is pretty steep. It's actually steeper than the big ramp. You're just kind of going a little higher. So I'll be just fine. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave her pinned and uh, just kind of see what happens. This guy's getting it. So I just need to be able to accelerate a little bit better. Ride in circle, making everybody dizzy, I know. I love you guys, but I'm trying to figure out which gear's the best one. Not at that pace. <laughs> All right, T Daddy. Shit. Oh, let me catch back up. Oh, that one's gonna steep. Oh, oh, I have, I have no gear, so. Okay. Had some gear pop on me, not in the right gear, couldn't accelerate. I have to give it another try. Try to fail. Semi mechanical, probably operator error. All right, uh, let's give it. That feels good. The outside on that one. That one feels good. Oh, okay, okay. All right, just like you said, it's big though. It is big. It is but big. Landing so big, dude. It feels like it's putting its arms. Yeah. Out. Uh, okay. I see what you're saying. The DJ would be, you'd be blasting. I can no footer and I can do it again. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Yep. It's another acid guy. <laughs> 